Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 19th and 20th question from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions for one mark each. Now this question is from the real numbers chapter. A number Q is prime factorized as 3 square times 7 square times B where b is a prime number other than 3 and 7. Based on the above information, two statements are given below. One is labelled as assertion and the other is labelled as reason. Read the statements carefully and choose the option that correctly describes statement A and R. Now the assertion is given as Q is definitely an odd number and the reason is 3 square times 7 square is an odd number. We have to see if both are true and R is the correct explanation for the assertion. If both A and R that is assertion and reasoning are true but the reason is not the correct response or the reason for the assertion. The assertion is true but the reason is false or the assertion is false but the reason is true. So let's analyze the question first. A number Q is prime factorized as 3 square times 7 square times B where B is a prime number other than 3 and 7. Now remember that the prime numbers start from 2. Then it is 3 and 5 and 7 and 11 and so on. So since the prime numbers start with 2, B can also be equal to 2. They have said that B is a prime number. So let us consider that B is equal to 2. Now let us see whether the assertion is true or not. Q is definitely an odd number. So let's see here we can take Q is equal to 3 square times 7 square times now in place of B we will take 2 as we have considered here. Now 3 square is 9 and 7 square is 49 times 2. Now here 9 times 49 we will get it as 9 times 9 is 81, 8 in the carry and 4 times 9 is 36 plus 8 is a 44 times 2. Now 441 times 2 gives us 882 and this is not an odd number it is an even number. So Q is definitely an odd number is a wrong statement assertion is not true. Now let's see if the reason is true that is 3 square times 7 square is an odd number. Now here 3 square we took it as 9 and 7 square we took it as 49 and the multiplication of these two numbers gave us 441 and 441 is an odd number. So the reason is true. So here we are going to select the option. The assertion is false but the reason is true. So it is option D. So if such kind of questions come remember that the prime numbers start with 2. And you can substitute the values in the given number and you can check whether the assertion or the reason is true or not. Now let us move on to the 20th question. Now the 20th question also belongs to the assertion and reasoning type questions. And this question is from the coordinate geometry chapter. Point P negative 2 comma 5 and Q 2 comma negative 1 are two points on the coordinate plane. Now assertion and a reason statement is given. Let us go through the assertion first. The midpoint 0, 2 is the only point equidistant from P and Q. Now let us consider a small figure referring to this assertion. So you can see I have drawn the two points P which is negative 2, 5 and Q which is 2, negative 1. And R is the midpoint, a point which is right at the center of this line joining these two points and the coordinates of that point is 0, 2. Now according to the given assertion, the midpoint is the only point equidistant from P and Q. Now equidistant means R 
is going to be for example if it is 2 units from P then it is also going to be 2 units from Q. So is R the only point which is equidistant from P and Q? So let's check by drawing a straight line passing through the midpoint. Now all these points which are passing through the midpoint over this line are going to be equidistant from P and Q. So let us check over here if I connect. Now this is for example going to be 5 cm and if I connect this point to the point Q now this is also going to be 5 cm because logically speaking this line is acting like a perpendicular bisector to the given line PQ. So whichever point comes on this midline all the points are going to be equidistant from the given points. So the assertion saying that only R is going to be equidistant from P and Q is incorrect. There are multiple points which are going to be equidistant from point P and Q. So our assertion is wrong. So let us just mark it over here. Now let us check if the reasoning is correct. There are many points x comma y where x plus 2 the whole square plus y minus 5 the whole square is equal to x minus 2 the whole square plus y plus 1 the whole square are equidistant from P and Q. Now this is the distance formula they have used. For example, we'll consider this point as S. So here you can take it as between point P and S that is PS square is one distance formula is equal to between S and Q that is QS square. So there are many points like S which are in between P and Q which are equidistant. As from the figure below we had seen that there are multiple points which are equidistant from P and Q. So the reasoning given over here that yes there are many points which are equidistant from given point P and Q is correct. So we are going to consider the reasoning is correct. So here in the option we will write the assertion is false but the reason is true. So it is option D. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.